Day who knows what in quarantine, I've lost count. I was in the Czech Republic when a global pandemic happened. You know, boom, boom, boom. You One day you're like traveling, like we're supposed to fly out to Dublin on Friday. And then we just made the decision not to. And boom, three days later or four days later, we're on a flight home. Like, it's just like the the way that everything happened, I, I couldn't even comprehend like that I was leaving something that I had literally felt like I had just gotten there. This is my dorm room. Um, so we have a mirror, a closet, uh, some nice flowers that I got from back home, a uh, little fridge, our bathroom, some hooks, some other stuff, two bedrooms, my roommate's bedroom and my bedroom, our little kitchen, so cute, but no oven, sadly, and then our bathroom. Hello. Bed here, my um, pictures of my family and friends, uh, my all my stuff. Look how beautiful the view is from my dorm. Like, how can you look at this and not be happy? So this weekend was a lot of fun. Uh, our kind of like buddy system or like a student club for Prague Exchange students took us to like a... Uh, place in Prague a little bit more remote and it was we did like we stayed in cabins and they threw us parties and we did like team building games and it was a really cool way to kind of meet new people uh, but also kind of you know be in the wilderness a little bit more and do a lot of fun stuff Time lapse. Time lapse. Instead of your drinks on the high, high tingling. Just like has a lot of like this little like Czech tournament. Like, 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 and turns out we're hiking up a mountain right now. Walk turned into hiking up a mountain in the snow. Love it. They didn't tell us it was a hike. Basically, they were just like, oh, t today is the leisure walk from, or it's the detox walk from 10 to 12. So we're like, yeah, yeah, like we should go. Like, I feel like it would be really fun. And there's just ice straight ice so now we're all trying not to slip and i feel like i'm might die so <laughs> wish me luck and so we're like slipping and falling and then all of a sudden like we kind of get to the top and it was literally just clouds and i'm like this is a joke right i just hiked what an hour or two hours to go up here and there's just clouds and then finally after a bit the clouds started to move away and it was this beautiful view of like just the rolling hills and a little village it's good. and it turned out to be worth it The hike was totally worth it seeing the view, but then we had to go down and it was so slippery that people were like sliding down the mountain and I was like I think it's really worth it to go out there and, and kind of experience those things that you otherwise would have just been like, hmm, I don't want to do it. So, yeah. And there is my breakfast. So we don't have a toaster, so I have to fry the <laughs> fry the toast. And I made some eggs, but our pan's pretty sticky, so it's tough to get a good um, flip on them. First day of school!
first day of school, Brennan. How are you feeling? Amazing. Amazing. I'm excited to do some learning in, uh, in a brand new school, see how the different props uh, will be teaching us. And, you know, hopefully we can meet some new uh, students and improve our network. So reflecting back on my first day of school, uh, I woke up, I was really excited because, you know, school is obviously what you're there for, as well as traveling and all the fun stuff. Everyone's excited to start again, you know, get back into the swing of things, get a routine. And that was the biggest thing for me was I was excited just to know like what the routine was going to be for the rest of the semester. So when I arrived at campus is really cool, really good atmosphere. And Actually, VSC offers a coat check. So if you want to take your jacket off and give it to the ladies there, you can. And they just give you a number. And so that's cool because you kind of don't have to like lug your heavy coat around if it's cold. We get into our first class and it was funny because our professor comes in and he just like doesn't say his name. He he just goes, hello, everyone. And he's like, we're just going to start lecture right now. So I was kind of like, okay, you know, I, I don't know your name. I don't know your contact information. So it was really different to SFU. Once I had settled down, the nervousness and everything kind of went away. And I kind of realized that, you know, everything's going to be okay. And I started to make friends in classes and I knew that people would be there su to support me. So I felt, I felt a lot better near the end of the day. And, you know, you start off in the beginning, very nervous, but as the as the first day of school kind of subsided, I felt excited and happy to start my semester. The infamous Charles Bridge. going abroad is that you know you spend all this time preparing and you work and you make money to go and you never really know what to expect until you get there and I think my biggest thing was you know as a business student you meet a lot of different people you're gonna you know work in businesses that are very global that you know have head offices everywhere and I think that it's so valuable to be able to go to another country and see how they live and, you know, really experience a culture shock where, you know, you can't read the language, you don't know what's going on, you don't know the transit. It's very different than anything you could ever experience being in Canada. So today I'm shopping at literally my favorite place in the whole entire world, which is Kofun. So this is my absolute favorite yogurt. It's a daily occurrence for us trying to figure out what we're purchasing in the Czech Republic because we have no idea what it <laughs> what it is. Brie? Brie cheese? Hello? 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 And of course you have to buy cleaning supplies because you're now an adult and have your own dorm room. So today's purchase, well, is a sponge to wipe off all the dirty stuff in my frying pan that won't clean. So our door handle is literally broken and I have to figure out how to fix it, but basically I think I can put in something online and have some handyman come, but we're gonna see. It's been one hour and we're still waiting for our sushi and we asked him where it was. It's been two hours. And then, it's been two hours. It's been two hours. <laughs> and we just asked him where it was and it, he said 20 more minutes. So basically we're just never going for sushi again. Too. Yeah, so it's basically been two hours and 20 minutes. So basically we're just never going for sushi again. Like, cheers. Yeah. No. Oh, wait, wait, this long? Are you kidding? Okay, I, That's true. I, I, I just don't want to be missing. Alright, door. Finally, it's here. Finally. 
So yesterday was my first class of finance at the University of Economics in Prague. So we go to the class and first thing is it's double booked. So we're walking around like trying to find another class. There's like 20 students, which is fine. And then finally we find one and we sit down and this guy is like suited up, like looking like he just came out of like the Wall Street. I don't even know. Like he looked really professional. He starts with like, what is a CFO? And we're just like, oh, this is fine. We'll be fine. And then he opens his Excel. And so we're all on our laptops, have this Excel downloaded, 14 sheets. And he starts going through it like a mile a minute, just typing in calculations, like getting these like answers. And I'm literally sitting there like, so long story short, I'm gonna have to put in some work this week and actually try and understand what the heck's going on in this class because I'm so scared that I'm gonna fail it. And yeah, just a, just a little, you know, not everything is as easy on exchange as you might think it is. So just know that you're gonna have to put in some effort and actually work hard in a class. Family dinner today, a little charcuterie, little za. Say hi, family. <laughs> you do make friends regardless of if you feel like you won't meet people or you feel like you're not you know maybe as outgoing it does not matter because there are people from all over the world who come from different backgrounds who are open to meeting new people and that's the best part about going on exchange uh school vsc ran a lot of uh events and they had a specific committee to run like international student events uh, so it was really nice and easy to meet people that way everyone's super nice everyone is there to learn you're all business students you all want to network and meet new people so i would say the biggest thing is don't be scared that you won't meet anyone or make any friends because the nice thing about exchange is that everyone's probably in the same boat that you are and everyone's probably a little bit nervous but everyone wants to make friends so yesterday my friend and I were just like, oh, we'll book a day trip to maybe somewhere like else in Prague, like just go see it, like whatever. And all of a sudden today we're on our way to Dresden, Germany in an hour. So honestly, on exchange, anything can happen. Stay tuned to find out if Brennan and I make it to Dresden, Germany. <laughs> Good news, we made it to Dresden, Germany, but now we have no idea where we are. And we're trying to figure out where our hostel is. So we're in a random train station, but pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. Finally made it to our hostel. Look how cute it is. It's like a tree jungle and it has a little deck. So we're in the middle of the city and there's a free zoo so there's horses and then we have the chickens over here and just a free zoo and there's just houses everywhere meow 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 meow
So we made it to our bus stop, Brennan and I were so scared because we realized that on Sundays buses and trams don't come as much and so we gave ourselves no time to get where we needed to be and we thought we were gonna miss our bus but we made it after some running and some scariness and here's to show that exchange isn't always as fun as people make it glamorous. out to be yeah it's not as glamorous so we did it with five minutes to spare anymore love that so we just found out today that we have to go home because Prague is getting shut down because of the coronavirus in the whole Czech Republic so yeah it's pretty friggin sad and I feel like I'm gonna cry a lot but thanks for following along with my journey love you guys take care be safe I'm that flight too. I think the biggest thing was I hadn't heard about anything specifically in Prague. I mean, I had heard some of my friends in Milan who actually had to go home early, which was devastating. And then my other friend in Madrid, actually a week before everything kind of happened in Prague, he texted me and said, so like they're closing the borders, I, I have to go home. And for me, I, I kind of wanted to push it to the back of my mind and say, that's, that's probably, I don't know, like it's not gonna happen here. You know, I was kind of in denial and I really wanted to be optimistic. Then a week later, we were hearing that the borders were gonna close. We were hearing that, you know, Canada might be closing their borders. There was travel bans. And I think another big thing was, you know, when SFU emailed us and said, you should come home and here's some support on how we can get you home. That was such a big thing for me as far as knowing, okay, yeah, so if like, you should probably start looking and seeing if you should come home. And that was only in a span of like a week maybe. Finally, after deciding like, hey, you know, you should book your flight and, and go home, that was in the span of th three days. I think I booked my flight on Friday and I left on Monday, March 16th. And SFU, actually decided to give us some financial support, which was amazing because obviously during a pandemic, you know, flights are less and less and the flight prices go up. So it was really nice that they supported us in that way. It was a really good experience for me to learn about myself and see how I can grow and adapt to different types of situations, learning, you know, how to get places or how to go home or even get from like point A to point B. I felt like I have grown as a person as far as I know I can do things now and I have a, a new confidence in myself that I didn't have before I left on exchange because I'm more capable of doing things that that I thought I couldn't do before.